the 19 and 3 Bethany Lutheran team is out of the basketball or out of the winner's bracket. Uh, they'll play it uh, for Wilmer. They have a, a short three to two lead here uh, with about eight. In the afternoon, check with Minneapolis over Rainy River in game one, 106-95. And Normandale over North in 85-84 in uh, what was an outstanding game as well. Gretz laugh but underneath, turns and shoots. Scores. Little falls start. These two teams split during the regular season, each winning on their home floor. Now 66 in favor of Fergus Falls at their floor, 70-62. Wilmer uh, on the hill at Wilmer Community College. Young. Young drives baseline. Now the jump shot fired up and good. That time on uh, the jumper by Dan Hansen, and he has four quick ones here in the first half. Corpus falls in the front court. Aaron Grove on the dribble, gets it stolen. Hansen on the steal. And he comes the other way, gives it off underneath. Layup is good by Jeremy Dirksen. So Hansen uh, with a steal goes the length of the floor and then gets the assist off to Dirksen and it's 9 to 4 Wilmer in the early going 17:30 to play in the first half jump shot in the way that's no good by Chris Mace for Fergus Falls long rebound comes off to Amundsen for Fergus a rebound battle on us stolen by Wilmer Miss got us a bullet pass down the floor Tunin on the catch the other way and uh, got the shot blocked on an eight but recovered by Hansen for Wilmer in the corner off to Dirksen and he tried to go before actually having possession of the ball and he loses it turnover on the Warriors Dirksen a little excited there lost it upon the basketball and uh, the other way we come on the dribble. Roll between the four pitches to Retzlaff. He goes baseline around Coonan for the deuce. Ryan Retzlaff has the six points in the basketball game for Fergus Ball. 16-47 is right for the Six lead. Young on the dribble right around the Got that far side before him. Got it. Got it. The high post, spin, post, and line jump shot got that blocked by the 6'10 Lou Hernandez out of Northfield. And uh, that's going over on Wilmer. There's a the early going jump shot. Retzlaff, 17 footer is good. Ryan Retzlaff, light it up nearly going. The son of Dave Retzlaff, the head coach. And uh, he's got the first eighth in the basketball game and hasn't missed a shot here in the first half. 16 13 to play, first half. Wilmer, a 9 8 lead. They led by five. Going Coonan now this guy is left side around the circle goes on the dribble gets tripped up they'll throw it in Hanson triggering lobs into Coonan Coonan the catch left of the paint now the pass off the just second just in the basketball game for Homer as uh, Dolson gets an early rest and it's 11-6 Warriors 15-50 to play first half the lob to Hernandez underneath he gets fouled by Hanson but he had Pazzini in the first one. They were led by Damian Green, who had 28 points, nine rebounds, and seven for the Wilmer Warriors out of Park Rapids, Minnesota. Second one, no good, this time by Hernandez. And the rebound to the Warriors. Down the floor, they come with it. Lindemann gets it up right side. Hanson pull up, 16 footer right baseline. That doesn't go. Rebound battle for him. Anderson for Wilmer. Gets the ball back out top. Now to Lindemann and Young just inside the half court line. Checked out there defensively. Man to man pressure over the floor by Fergus Falls. Baseline drive Lindemann and he stepped out of bounds. On the dribble. Across the timeline. Aaron Grove for the basketball. 11 9 Warriors. 15 16 to play first half. Free throw line. Give it off that time by Mace. He thought about the jumper. Now the long range one. That doesn't go by Grove. Weak side board. The putback. That doesn't fall. Good hard work underneath by Fergus Falls. Score the goal and the foul. At the line, Ben Amundsen out of Rosse, Minnesota. Free throw. In and out. No good. Rebound comes off to Kuna. Young on the dribble. Across the timeline. Tied at 11, 14.57 to play first half. All the games have been up-tempo, high-scoring affairs here in the first three basketball games. This one has certainly started off that way. Anderson with a high post now around the circle with Dirksen. Coonan, baseline right outside the circle. Only to Anderson, he throws it back out top for Young. Young looking, 10 on the shot clock. Young goes on the dribble drive. And a foul call to eliminate the turnover, but the foul. And uh, no communication. And now we're, we're still not quite ready to go yet. So, uh, yet. Wilmer to throw it in. 
The lob out top, Bourne on the catch, right side around the circle. Bourne feeds it down to Dirksen. He gives it to Kunin, down the lane, blocked out of there by Hernandez, recovered by Purcell. Coach Rutz laughed, wanted a double dribble call. Now Bourne, he'll cast up the three and bury it. Nathan Bourne, the long range jump shot. And knock that one down. Now with it out top, Aaron Grove for Fergus Falls. Now gives it off to Mike Rowe on the wing right side. Feed to Hernandez, they look down low. That's Grove on the catch, he puts it up for two. Aaron Grove, his first two of the basketball game, and it's 14-13 Wilmer. Now across the timeline, Coonan with it. Left of the key, give to Lindemann down in the corner. Back out top, Nathan Bourne on the dribble, kicks it off to Purcell. Chip Purcell in the basketball game. Gives to Nathan Bourne. Bourne on the dribble, out top to Lindemann. Lindemann between the circles, on the dribble. Now back to Bourne. Bourne down to Coonan, right side. Nine on the shot clock, Roman needs to hurry here. Purcell to the floor with it. Gives the up fake underneath to Dirksen now, and that'll be a travel. And just weren't able to get any free shots as Fergus Falls was in their face, but at some point in time, you're going to have to take a shot even when covered. Now uh, down on the baseline, Jared's with it. He gives it up to Grove, slashing down the paint. A good cut that time by Grove to get the basketball. He lays it up, and Fergus Falls has their first rhythm basketball in 15 14. to play in the first half. Born between the circles on the dribble. Tries to get to Purcell, who was going. Lady Wildcats in our first game of the evening. A big winner in their first sectional playoff game. They'll have them again on Saturday. Baseline drive, Lindemann lays it up for two. Lindemann took the baseline aggressively that time and laid it in for the deuce. His first two of the basketball game. Jump shot, that doesn't go. Hernandez, the weak side rebound. Against Dirksen, turns and shoots. That won't fall. Dirksen, the rebound, got it stripped from behind by Grove and out of bounds. And that was had uh, earlier. Again, apologize for the phone noise. We'll try and get that corrected at halftime. So we'll send it back at halftime here for a little longer period. As Tom will have a lot of the scores now here and so forth. Now the jump shot. I don't know if it was a three-pointer or not, but Fort Fergus gets it into Rett's lap. It's been tough. He spins in the paint, triple teamed, loses the ball on the floor, held ball. It'll be Aaron Grove. Up the floor, Bourne gives to Lindemann between the circles. Lindemann on the dribble, gives it up right side, 17-16, Fergus falls. The lead, 12.06 to play first half. Lindemann now on the dribble, left hand, gives to Purcell. Purcell comes to the free throw line, pull up, got it stripped, Dirks in the recovery, and the left-handed baby hook in the paint, and that goes. Jeremy Dirksen with four now, and Fergus Falls comes back up. And already our fourth lead change on the other going. Almost knocked away and stolen by the Warriors. Keep it. Fergus Falls will keep the ball. And Wilmer comes up the floor. Bourne gives to Cooner. Bourne now on the dribble. To the top of the circle to Dirksen. Dirksen left of the key. Down to Coonan, right side on the block, finds Dirksen on the cutter, working underneath, and they got a travel on Dirksen, and look, 26 to play in the first half. Up the floor comes Fergus Falls. On the dribble, Mace gives it up right side. Now the dump back to Mace. He tries to go baseline, and then over the head pass, and he gets a travel. First round action of the Minnesota Community College State Basketball Tournament. Purcell out top to Miscatus. Miscatus to the floor. Got a strip from behind. But Coonan recovers. Coonan to the floor once at the high post. Gives to Young. Young steps in, gets hung in the air. Off to Hanson. Right side baseline. That doesn't go off the side of the backboard. And Fergus will come up the floor with it. They have a 19-18 lead. 10-50 to play. First half. Mace now near the half court line. On the dribble. Gives it up left side. Now the lob down underneath, and that's stolen by Hansen. Good step around that time defensively by Hansen. Now the lob down to Purcell. Purcell goes baseline, gets stopped there. Fergus, excellent defensive transition. Young on the dribble, left post now gives it up to Coonan. Coonan the kick out for Purcell, the three, and out no good. Fergus the board. And they'll come up the floor with it. Mace on the dribble. Hesitation, pull it up. 
high post and stolen away by the Warriors once again. So Fergus has turned it over three straight times to give to Coonan down the lane. Can't hit the finger roll. And Fergus falls the rebound. Mace comes back the other way in a hurry on the dribble. We're in the brace on the right knee. Now the hesitation down the paint. Double clutch. Throw it off the glass. Doesn't go. Loose on the floor. Picked up by the Warriors. Young three players on the deck in the paint. Underneath the Warrior basket. Two the other way on the last possession. This got to spots up. 17-footer no good. And the rebound to Jareds for Fergus Falls. Off to Mace. They'll bring it up the floor. Grove will check in at the next break. Now Mace between the circles. And... Uh, down underneath, and the layup is good that time as he got it down to Amundsen, a strong move to the basket. And, but not more than that. Purcell out. As uh, back in comes Dan Hansen. Miss Goddess, left of the key, on the hold. Left of the key, gives it up to Young, right side. Now down in the corner, Hansen, the feed to Coonan, on the low block, right side, back out top, Young, now left side, Miss Goddess. They swing around back to Dirks, and he sealed well. Goes strong to the basket. Pass Hernandez for two. Nice seal that time to get the pass by Dirks, and strong and physical underneath, and they hit him on the open hand. There's the lob underneath. The ball knocks around, and we've got a foul called, and I think it will be Mike Rowe on the baseline. Retz last fires up the jumper right side. That doesn't go. Hanson the rebound. Strong side right in front of Retz left. Now the lead pass. Next time, it's up again along the sideline. Pull up, try to throw the foul, throw it off the glass. Score the goal and the foul. Right to the basket. Jump shot, no good. Miss Goddess, or a free throw, I should say. And up the floor comes Fergus Falls. Fergus on the dribble. Right side of the basketball, now Aaron Grove. Bob down to Rhett's lap, right side in the corner, near side as we look at it. Spinning baseline and stepping out of bounds. 221, Warriors back in the lead. Five lead changes now in the basketball game. 827 to play, first half. Young, two in the corner, left side, near side as we look to Hanson on the cutter, coming to the lane. Nobody banged him. If, when a man's coming through that lane to the strong side from weak, you've got to get a body on him and bump him off his route. They didn't do that. Hanson came free, caught the ball, hit the shot left side of the paint. And then Cato on the dribble, Rutz left sets his screen. For Grove, who goes all the way to the baseline, goes to Hernandez for the flush. Lou Hernandez on the pass from Aaron Grove on the baseline, went up and flushed it. And uh, he is pretty much... Uh, Almost a full head above Dirksen down there. Now on the dribble, losing it that time. Young, but picked up by Coonan. He gets it stripped from behind. And Young picks it up between the circles. 24-23, Wilmer. With the lead. Right side now, Dirksen. Holding, gives to Miss Goddess. Tries to get it back to Young. 12 on the shot clock. 7.32 on the first half game clock. 24-23, Wilmer. Dirksen, baseline, strong against Hernandez. Score the goal. It's a and underneath the basket when he scores it. Now in the pros, that wouldn't be a charge because if they're standing too far under the basket, they don't count it. You just take your punishment like a man and get up and go the other way. If you're under the basket here and draw it, it is a foul after the release. Jump shot on the way. That doesn't go in the paint that time. Hernandez, the rebound for Fergus, goes back, blocked underneath by Coonan and the recovery, and then to stuffed him, recovered, and Hernandez got the foul. Three-point Romer lead, 26-23, seven minutes to play, first half. Young on the dribble across the timeline. District, or uh, Hanson spins right side. Pull it near side. Dirksen. Travel. Boy, you can't even shift that pivot foot a little bit. He's going to call it. it Looked like a step to the basket and then go up with it, which would be a step and a half. Top of the circle. Let's laugh. Give to Grove. Grove on the dribble left side. 26-23. Grove. Nice pass. Underneath. Good catch. And the reverse by Mike Rowe from Grove for his first two. 26-25. Wilmer. 6-28. To play. On the dribble in the front court. Young finds Coonan. Gets a strip from him. Coonan not strong with the basketball that time and got it knocked away. Fergus the other way. Retz left the pull-up. 16-foot right side doesn't go. Hernandez couldn't handle the rebound. Miss Goddess picks it up. He gives it far side. Dirksen. Dirksen strong to the basket for two. Dirksen went hard that time, and the man defensively backed Grove. Didn't want any piece of the big fella coming down the paint. Now Grove tries to feed Hernandez underneath. That's stolen by Hansen. And a turnover on Fergus to Young. Skipper near side. Coonan spots up three-pointer. is good for the left-hander. His first points of the first half. He hits it from the corner near side. Just kind of muddle through and do what you can. 
31-25, our score. Warriors the lead, 5.40 to play first half. Grove on the dribble, give to Hernandez at the high post right side, back to go baseline around Miscatus, pull up 12 footer baseline, that doesn't go. Nice weak side board, high that time forward, Hanson right up at the 10. Hanson now far side on the dribble, gives to Bourne now, Nathan Bourne back in the basketball game for the Warriors between the circles. Now Miscatus left side, Miscatus comes to the free throw line, they leave him wide open, why not shoot it? He puts it up, rim twice, glass, back through the net for two. Well, everybody backed off, cut off the passing lanes, but one thing, you gotta cover that shooter. This guy has dropped it. Hernandez put it to the floor, stripped by Bourne. And uh, the dunk got the strip, not the steal, though. Fergus falls, baseline to Hernandez at the high post. He'll shoot the 15-footer, left side, and it goes. Lou Hernandez now with five points in the basketball game. 33-27, Wilmer, 4.54 to play, first half. Dirksen, right side in the corner to Miss Goddess. Miss Goddess, skipper near side. Hanson spots up, three-pointer. Front of the rim, no good. High hop goes to Hernandez. Now Grove up the floor on the dribble. Gives to, uh, again, the left high post to Retzlaff. He spins with the travel call. Once again, the upset of the day. We do have a Cinderella in the tournament. Masabi beat Mankato Bethany in the first game of the evening session, 96-87. Minneapolis beat Manny River earlier, 106-95. Bourne spins, left side, Coonan spots up, doesn't take. Now back out top, and Baru on the drive, can't hit the shot. Anderson taps it back up for Bourne. Bourne down the lane, the kick to Chad Baru for Wilmer, just in. Now Anderson, right side at the elbow, he hits the jumper. Jeremy Anderson with four. 35-27, Wilmer. 4-0-3 to play, first half. Grove on the dribble, gives it up left side. Now to Mace, underneath, back to Grove. Grove. Spins to the basket, he freed himself, couldn't hit the shot. Has the rebound from Hernandez, that doesn't go. Let's laugh up the third time, score the goal, and the fi first half of play. And of course, uh, Normandale beat Northland also 85-84. Let's laugh, can't hit the free throw to try and complete the three-point play. Warriors the other way, born on the push, still on the dribble. Tossed it up off the glass, doesn't go. A little, little advice that time, got himself in a position though where he couldn't do much but shoot the basketball and couldn't hit it. Fergus falls the other way, down in the corner, Mace pull up, just inside the three-point line, and it goes. Chris Mace knocks it down, and Fergus falls on the comeback. 35-31, Wilmer, 3.26 to go in the half. Born across the timeline to give to Miscatus, left of the key between the circles. Miscatus holding and looking. Hanson tries to flash and get it, he can't. Now to Peru, dump pass, Coonan, nice pass, it goes strong, blocked by Hernandez. Mace behind the back on the dribble in transition, behind the back again, and gives it up to Grove. Grove will spot up, three-pointer, right of the key, doesn't go. Hernandez, the tip, for a foul. Although we have seven lead changes here in the first half of play. And uh, what else? Another good basketball game. Purcell, and they're going to get the charge. Purcell to the basket before turning his head to check the defense, and he got the charge. Foul on Chip Purcell. Hanson will check in at the next break. Grove between the circles, reverses the basketball near side to Amundsen. Amundsen to Retz laughs at the right elbow. Holding and looking now back to Mace. Mace near side and from the Warrior bench. Out top, again Amundsen now left side Grove around the circle. Grove to the floor against Purcell. Reverse spin, dribble, baseline, scoop, window, strings, it goes. Aaron Grove on a nice move that time. Thirty-five, thirty-three. our score, 2.16 to play first half. What a move that time by Grove. Now between the circles, Young with it. Little head movement to try and shake the man to Purcell deep in the corner right side. Purcell goes baseline, off the glass for two. Chip Purcell, a nice drive. Something he's added to his game this year. Last year, primarily a spot-up jump shooter. This year, he's been able to put it to the floor and go strong to the basket. Grove between the circles, 28 seconds on the shot clock, not a factor as of yet, 1.50 to go on the game clock. Baru steps in front, saves it back in, crash into the scorer's table, but Fergus Falls recovers. Grove between the legs, stops at the free throw line. Now the give underneath the spin, Retz laughed the jump shot, doesn't go. Purcell the strong side board, to the floor with it, trying to run the transition, gives it back, oh, and a racket mid-court. And neither one had the ball. <laughs> Purcell flat ran over Bob Jarrett's. Now we're going to get an offensive foul down here on Anderson. He's stretching it a hair, kind of a wide body. Plays down low, free throw on the way is good. Cuts the lead back to three for Wilmer, 126 to go in the half. 37-34 our score. And the second one goes as well for Amundsen. 
Tight all the way. 37-35, Warriors. Minute 24 to play in the half. Hanson will bring it up here. He did a great job in that Normandale game. He was the man with the ball in his hands on the critical possession in the overtime, and he got the job done out high. Now to Purcell in the corner near side. Purcell, a couple of ball fakes down low, then has to stop the dribble as he got cut off baseline. They look for Dirksen, knocked away from him. Young the recovery, down to Dirksen low again. Dirksen on the handle, called on the shot clock. Skip pass near side. Purcell spot up, cast the three, and bury it. Great look first ball from Dirksen. Now the lead pass to Grove. He goes the other way. Purcell slow getting back. Fouled him. And time watching games that aren't theirs and sitting down. They're both up and pacing. Free throw. Grove doesn't go, but the rebound comes off to Fergus Falls, and they'll set it up. Between the circles, on the dribble, Grove. Reverses, comes near side. Now Mace, left side. Now they feed it down underneath. Amundsen tuning from behind for the block. Two players on each side of the lane, and then they break, setting screens, catching out high as Grohl. 13 on the shot clock, 32 on the game. 40-37, Wilmer. They try and feed underneath to Retzlaff. He has it. They leave him open. Shoots it. That doesn't go off the rim near side. Plenty of time here for the Warriors. Shot clock should be off. 20 seconds on the game clock. Coonan, left side around the paint. Now Hansen spots up. Three-pointer doesn't go. Retzlaff the board. 13 seconds time for a last possession here for Fergus Falls. They'll want to use all of that if they can. Mace now out high, knocked loose on the floor. Amundsen recovers. Three on the clock. Grove spots up, three-pointer back to the 10, doesn't go. And that's the end of the first half of play. Our score, the Wilmer Warriors 40, Fergus Falls Spartans 37, back with a half. Welcome back to Minneapolis from the College Gymnasium. And the second half of play just underway, 40 to 37. And uh, Grove physical with the basketball, banging Miscatis off him with the off arm. Fergus starts with it in the second half. Into Hernandez, back to Grove. Now they flash to the high post to Amundsen. Amundsen between the circles, comes left side around the circle with the basketball. Hernandez throws it out top. Retrieval by Fergus Falls, now back down to Hernandez. Little jump hook, broken line that goes. Nice move that time by Lou Hernandez. Five points in the first half for him. in the first half to now make it eight. Seven turnovers also in the first half for Fergus Ball. Unofficial. 40 to 39 in the front court. Grove on the, with the dribble. Gives it up right side to Rett's lap. Now to Amundsen between the circles. Out high. Holding overhead and looking. Mace way outside. Checked it. Didn't take. Goes on Young on the dribble. Now back to Grove. Grove left side of the key. Down low. Rett's lap. 16 foot jump shot. Fade away. Doesn't go. Rebound to Dirksen. Mace tried to slice. Didn't get it. Off to Young. Young across the timeline on the dribble. Young gives it to Hanson. Left to the key. Now left side. Down the foot of this guy. And Young. Young. Coonan checks the jumper, doesn't take it, tries to go on the dribble, almost got a kick. Now finds Young at the top, the three-pointer on the way, that doesn't go. Let's laugh, tap the rebound, Grove has it, and comes up the floor. 40-39, to 39, Wilmer the lead on Fergus Falls, 18-35 to play in the basketball game. Mace, left of the key, 25 feet out, to give to Hernandez at the elbow, back to Mace on the in and out move, that doesn't go on the short jumper, Young on the dribble. In transition the other way, the late from Miss Goddess who goes for him, that doesn't go. And on the putback won't fall. Dirksen one more try underneath. He saves it back inbounds. This got us back up. Score the goal and the foul. Six first half points to Randy. Free throw on the way is good. Leading score for the Warriors with Dirksen. He had 10 in that first half. 40 to 59. And there's the shot from the baseline. Right side. Spin by Red Slap. Gets trapped up. Now across the timeout. There's the lob for Coonan. He gets quickly double teamed down low. They're having a hard time getting that low post feed. Fergus Falls will collapse as soon as the ball goes inside. They're trying to make the Warriors beat him from the perimeter. Grove on the bounce. Gives it up to Amundsen. Amundsen. Right elbow, back to Grove, spots up, three-pointer right side, doesn't go, long rebound comes near side, recovered by Miscotti. Comes on the dribble across the timeline. 
on the wing. Back to Miscata. Spots up past the three. That doesn't go. Rebound to goal for Fergus Ball. Goes to Mac down the floor with it. 17-15 to play. Second half. Red slap right side down the lane. Doesn't go. Hits the deck. Rebound's pulling. Here come the Warriors. Fish and Young on the foot. Here's the last. Stolen by Mays. The trick away. Red slap. He gets it stripped almost by Young. Red slap wanted some shots. He's letting the official know about that as he runs back down the other way. Warriors have it in the front court. And this got it in the circle. Young just came in and got a slap on the ball. Probably got some hand as well. But the hand is part of the ball on plays like that. Knocked out of bounds now by... Throws it in to Miss Goddess, right of the key. Got us looking for Cutter. There's Coonan underneath. The pass by Hanson wide. And uh, Fergus Burris with the steal. They come the other way. Pull up, jump shot. That doesn't go. Rose, the tap doesn't go. Amundsen, another tap by Rose. And that one falls. Mike Rowe on a third attempt in the 43 31 well now. 15 to the play. In the ball game. Young near side. Miss Goddess around the circle. Miss Goddess to the floor. On the dribble between the legs. Out of Hansen, right of the key. Hansen on the floor with it. Goes baseline, pull up, got it stripped momentarily by Rowe. Now the dirt is trapped on the baseline and snatched by Rowe. On the steal, Rowe just took it away from the baseline. Control on the middle drive, baseline throws it out top. Yes. Rowe on the inbounds pass, 43-41 Warriors. Skipper near side, Amundsen fakes the pass, goes now down low, Rowe the little hook shot left side of the paint, and that goes. And we're all tied at 43. And a timeout called Gymnasium Community College State Tournament. All tied at 43. 15 and a half to play in a basketball game. Horn to Hanson, left side. Warriors have the basketball. A couple of ball fakes goes baseline to give to Dirksen. Dirksen out top for Lindemann. He recovers to Hanson. Down low to Dirksen over Retzlaff for two. Good movement of the basketball that time by the Warriors. 45-43, near side roll. Didn't get down from the first cutter. Second option, Mace comes and gets the ball down. Grove, right side around the circle, just inside that. Now the pull up, I'm going to see that one fall for the rebound. He gets to Lindemann, he's going to up far side. Lindemann on the bounce with the ball between the circles. Bourne tries to come and get it. Mace steps in for the steal, and then Bourne steals it right back. And <laughs> Coach Johnson was doing the whirling dervish after that giveaway by the words, and they got it right back, and then he's right back to his usual self. Straight in the tie, and here we go on back on this offensive possession we should have had in the first place. But they didn't reset the shot clock on that one, however. 19 seconds on the clock, Bourne. Near side, back to Lindemann, top of the key. I wonder if the Warriors realize that. They need to check the shot clock, eight seconds on it. Coonan now, around the circle. He'll pull up, right side, in and out, doesn't go. Rebound comes out to Fergus, drove on the recovery. And Amundsen will bring it up the floor. 45-43. 13.57 to play. In the basketball game. Another good one here at the tournament. They've all been good. Down low to Amundsen over Hanson for two. For Fergus Falls. We're tied at 45. Bourne up the floor with it. On the dribble. Across the timeline, picks up the dribble a little early, now comes to Hanson, near side, Dirksen in the corner, in front of his own bench. Dirksen, skipper, full side, pulling a tough catch, he couldn't make it. See that skip pass before they got into the three-point line was the Hanson, you know, if you saw that, it would quickly find yourself like a, with a three-point line, that is a, a devastating pass at times with that one a little long. 3.5 Mace, that doesn't go. Rhett's left the board trying to go back up. Foul called. We'll see the floor when you come back to the bench. <laughs> Rhett's left, free throw goes. We'll get one more opportunity here. Second one. Again. They have made a concerted effort to shut Rhett's left down. Now the pressure. Full court here. By Fergus Ball. Warriors break it to Purcell. He finds the open man. Lindemann left side around the circle. Now back to Young. 
So the quick defensive switch by Fergus, but the Warriors recognize and beat it. Now Young goes baseline, finds Coonan wide open. The penetration, draw the two defenders. The dish to the open man for the deuce. Now quickly down the floor, roll. Left side around the circle in front of his own bench. To the floor, takes the baseline. Oh, the double clutch, the sweeper won't go far side. Dirks in the board. Didn't catch anything but the atmosphere on that one, but it was a sweet move, just couldn't finish. Tied at 47. 12-28 to play in the basketball game. Coonan around the circle to Dirksen at the right elbow. Dirksen to the floor, down the lane, the left hand, the roller, and it goes! Jeremy Dirksen with one of his patented power moves down the paint. And that was nothing but muscle, he took it right at him. Grove now, left side on the block, bounce pass, wet laugh, slips it, and Rets laughed it, mugged <laughs> underneath, <laughs> and Coach Dave Rets laughed. A little unhappy about that, he got triple teamed, stepped to the basketball. And the Warriors with it on the turnover. Now Young goes baseline, out top, Lindemann spots up, shoots the three off the 10, won't go, Rets laughed the board. 49-47, Wilmer, 11-44 to play in a basketball game. Mace across the timeline on the dribble. Now to Grove between the circles. They're gonna set it up here a little more deliberately. On the bounce, left side. Oh, you can't see for the bench. They're standing, Amundsen. Now the lob, back door, tipped away by Lindemann. Last touch by action. Before Fergus falls. And uh, into the basketball, you know, 31, Aaron Natwick. Lindemann now to Young, left of the key. Young fakes right, goes left, Dirksen deep in the corner, back to Young. 17 on the shot clock, 49-47. On the bounce, Young down the lane, little scooper goes off the window. Tim Young with just a subtle little eye fake, like he was going to kick it to the three-point line, slipped past two defenders, laid it again. Welcome back, Retzlaff the reverse, and hangs on the rim, it won't fall, Coon in the rebound. Retzlaff goes down, and here come the Warriors. 51-47, 10.38 to play. Young to Lindemann, between the circles. Lindemann on the dribble, back to Young, left side, and they work it around to Coonan, and now they're gonna get Purcell. All intended as a learning process, these young men. 10.25 to play. I'm sorry, I just love to watch these two coaches. They are very demonstrative and they are a lot of fun to watch. All part of the game. Roll. A roll. Left side. Now it's Stripper to Natwick. His jumper well short. His first shot, it comes from long range. 20 footer, he shot at about 18 feet. Near side, Lindemann looked for Dirksen on the touch pass, stripped away. Good heads up by Natwick that time. And then he made point lead on a couple occasions. Three, the biggest lead for Fergus Falls. We had seven lead changes in that first half. Hanson now, free throw line extend around the circle, left side, Young on the dribble, back to Hanson, finds Coonan at the free throw line, back to Hanson, spots up, cast the three, off the rim, doesn't go, Dirks in the weak side, strong side board, goes back up, his shot hit the bottom of the rim, but Coonan recovers. Coonan on the dribble, comes out top to Lindemann, and off to Young. Young will hold and set once again, 23 on the shot clock, back to Lindemann. Lindemann on the dribble, in the paint, tries to find Coonan, tough catch, and he's fouled. For you here on KWLM. Tomorrow night at 6.30 for, yes, goes for Kunin. He gets one more, and that one goes again. Fergus back the other way, back to a six-point lead now for the Warriors. Spartans with the basketball in the front court, Grove at the free throw line, dumps it down to Rowe in the corner right side. Rowe back out top for Grove. Grove, one wristband, high on the elbow, looking for help. Finds Natwick. Natwick now right side goes hard, got it stripped in a foul. 84. What a great tournament. Fantastic opening day. Free throw on the way is good. Nate just saw about 40 seconds roughly of playing time. Second free throw by Natwick, good as well. Into Hanson. Here's the pressure again from Fergus Falls. Man to man variety. Warriors break it easily with Young on the dribble. Picks up the bounce, gives it to Miscatus near side. Miscatus, the Warrior bets to Hanson. Hanson down the first, first and left. Hanson finds Coonan across the lane. Up the floor come the Spartans of Fergus Falls. 
On the dribble, Mace with it, left hand. Young checking him, Mace now back out top. Amundsen spots up, shoots the three, short no good, comes right back to him. Now he hits the close 12 footer off the glass, that doesn't go, and rebound to Coonan after Hansen had a tag. Young will bring it up the floor for Wilmer. Across the timeline, Mace checking Young. Young behind the back, gets a screen from Coonan, goes left side to the baseline, lays it off the glass for two. Got a little screen, used it to his advantage, just felt the defense, never went full bore, just going at game speed, and he laid, laid it off the glass for two. Now down low, Retzlaff working hard, tries to get the shot, and it goes. Retzlaff is tough, got it down low, just kept pivoting until he felt the defender pressurized one way or the other, then goes opposite and hits the short jumper. Lead pass down to Coonan, Coonan the lob to Dirksen for the dunk! Oh, Dirksen, 6'3", about 235, and he got off the hardwood that time to catch and throw it down. Now a foul called. They set a screen for Mace, he gets the ball, can't get the open shot down to Amundsen. He spins at the broken line and gets it right side of the paint for two. Good inbounds, play that time by Fergus. Coonan, baseball pass into Moscatus, near side. One of our scorers table, he skips it far side, Hansen on the catch. He tries to go down in the corner for Eva Cinderella. Masabi winning earlier tonight. Here it's 57-53, Wilmer been close throughout. 7.29 to play in the basketball game. Young with the basketball for the Warriors. Comes near side, Mace all over in that tough man-to-man -to -man played by Fergus. He finds Dirksen down low, tough catch and a foul call. Hansen to throw it in, finds Kuhn and low block right side down, jump to Dirksen, spins and doesn't go, that's ejected. Jumper Hansen and it goes. Well, it was knocked back out. Hansen caught it, went right up with it and hit it. 59-53. Now the jumper, Fergus in transition the other way. Let's laugh the catch, the spot up in the berry. Warriors will come back the other way. Hernandez, Lou Hernandez has been down since 18-13 to play. He's been down some 12 minutes now. With the four personal fouls. 59-55. Again to Hanson, left side. Now into Dirksen at the broken line. Kick it out to Young. Young in the bounce, down to Dirksen, low block, right side, Amundsen stops him. He throws it back out to Young, Young down the lane to Dirksen, Dirksen goes baseline. Amundsen the attempt to tackle, but Dirksen got free. Finds Young left side, three-pointer doesn't go. Dirksen the weak side board, he goes back strong for the deuce. Jeremy Dirksen with a strong weak side board. It's physical underneath. Grove now between the circles. We give to Mace, out top. He goes into the broken line, pull up, and it goes. Mace the pull up jumper, and it falls, and both teams clicking offensively. 61 57, Wilmer the lead. 6 6 to play in a basketball game. Miss got it between the circles, goes left side to Young. Young working, finds two at the high. Now down to the first. Scottis will bring it out and set it up. Scottis between the circles, 15 on the shot clock. They give to Young. Young in the dribble with the right hand down the lane, throws it out for Dirksen. Dirksen to Miscottis. Six on the clock. They need to be aware. Miscottis checks, goes to the free throw line. His shot clock by Grove. Loose on the floor, and, and uh, Fergus Boyles comes up with it. Just a solid man-to-man -man defense being played by Fergus Falls. They are contesting every shot. The Warriors have had to scrap for everything. Retzlaff, pull up, free throw line, bury it. Ryan Retzlaff feeling it now. Since the 10-minute mark of this half, he's had six. He has eight and a half, 20 in the ball game. Roller in the front court, just a two-point lead. 61-59, 510 to play. Dirksen, free throw line, extend around the arc, far side to Young out high. Young fakes the drive. Amundsen checking him. An interesting matchup. Young to Hansen. Went down to Kuhn, and that's stolen away by Fergus Falls. They'll come the other way. Stripped down low by Hansen, and he'll get a foul. Here it's 6 3 sophomore out of Albany. Free throw. Falls off. 53 to play. 61 59. Wilmer. Jared's second one that fall. Row and a man on the floor. The only one who's all over the place is Mace defensively. The others pick him up pretty much at half court. He's got it across the timeline, checked by Grove. They do give up some size at that two guard position. To the Warriors. Born. Down to Hansen. Broken line extended around the circle. Left side down to Dirksen, who goes strong off the glass for two. Dirksen caught the ball. He knew he had his immediate defender on his back, and he will go hard at that point. Now Rowe 
down in the corner, left side, baseline, throws it out top, Grove. Grove will set the offense for Fergus Falls. It's still a one possession game at 63-60. The high post to Rowe, down low, Retzlaff, he spins and shoots and scores. Let's laugh again, he's the main man for Fergus Falls, he's got 22. Born on the dribble, 63-62, Wilmer. Born a bullet pass to Dirksen in the corner, throws it all the way across to Hanson, the open 16-footer doesn't go. The tap, the rebound, Dirksen goes back up. Defensively, he's got us to throw it in, he'll have to throw it up top, it's deflected, then Mace gets a deflection, and then Born has, and that is an over and back. Grove throws it into Rowe in the center jump circle and back to Grove. Fergus Falls has not led this half. They trail by one here at 63-62. Hernandez, the dump down low. Red's laugh. He goes up. That doesn't go. Coonan, I think, got a piece. Warriors will hold the lead. And the ball pouring across the timeline. Warriors need someone on the perimeter to step forward and want to take shots here. They haven't really had that. They've tried to force the ball in for about the last six minutes. It's been Dirksen and Coonan underneath. Now Hanson, broken line extended far side out top to Bourne. A lot of freshmen on this Wilmer team. They start four of them, just one sophomore, Dirksen. Now Miss Goddess on the spin dribble gets trapped, double team. Let's laugh reaching in, and he'll get a foul. Hernandez the only one in foul trouble with four for Fergus Falls. Dirksen around the circle, right side, he puts to the floor. Now picks up his dribble and gives him to Miss Goddess. Fergus Falls, very aggressive defensively. Down to Dirksen, against Hernandez, spins on him, in the paint, goes up, got it blocked. Coonan got the rebound, he goes down in a heap. And a foul call, and took it away from a couple of Fergus Falls players. Reset the shot clock, 63-62. Time neither one's favor when it's a one-point game. Down to Dirksen, against Hernandez. I think Hernandez got a piece of it, Dirksen couldn't hit the shot. Fergus Falls, the rebound, but a second chance at the lead. 2.37 to play. 63-62, Wilmer, Fergus Falls to basketball. Mace left side. Out top, Retzlaff. Retzlaff to the floor. Spins in the lane against Coonan. Put it up and scores. Ryan Retzlaff with 10 since the 10-minute mark of this half. And Fergus Falls has their first lead of the second half at 64-63. 2.14 to play. Ball knocked loose on the floor. Fergus Falls after it. Warriors recover. Miss Goddess on the dribble. Looks down to Coonan. He gets it. Goes strong. Shot blocked by Hernandez. So Hernandez has come back in and been a shot blocking force here. And two in a row he's gotten a piece of. And Fergus Falls a chance to stretch their lead. They have a 64-63 lead, 150 to play. Stripped now by Hanson, out front. Hanson, one on two, goes down, and he gets hammered as he goes to the basketball. Without the basketball either. Very quick, aggressive guards for Fergus Falls. Hanson, a chance to give the Warriors back the lead. First one is good. And the bonus now for the rest. Just five team fouls, however, on the Warriors. Hanson, second one, doesn't go, back to the 10, Coonan kept it alive, but roll the retrieval for Fergus Falls. So we're tied at 64. Fergus Falls, the basketball, 137 to play, and with that 35-second shot clock, probably about four possessions without fouling. Although we will have fouls, I'm sure, Rats left baseline, got around Coonan and Dirksen and lays it up for two. But Ryan Retzlaff has really been the man to step forward for either team here. The Warriors at times have been a little hesitant to shoot the basketball. A little spread here. Young on the dribble. Look at Dirksen in the corner. Out top to Ms. Goddess. Ms. Goddess on the bounce now. He thinks about going on the drive. He doesn't. Back to Hansel. 105 on the clock. 13 on the shot clock. Warriors now with Young. Young. Give to Miss Goddess. Miss Goddess goes baseline, gets trapped, tries to throw it out top, stolen by Fergus Falls. Warriors again have not had a man step forward and want to take the big shots here in about the last five minutes. It's hurt him. Fergus Falls in the front court. They have a 66 64 lead, 23 on the shot clock, 40 on the game clock. The lob underneath, deflected, and the Warriors have it on the turnover. Tunic gives to Young. Young comes up the floor. And a timeout called here by the Wilmer. I wouldn't disagree. I would disagree with that. Let's we'll see what the Warriors do. On the dribble, Young. Crossover between the circles. 22 on the clock. Young down the baseline against Rex Laff. Gets trapped on the baseline and stolen away. He got himself in no man's land down on the baseline. 
And now Young will get a foul. And that just uh, will be difficult. And now stripped in the backcourt. This goddess has it. Nine seconds on the clock. He's checked by Mace. Down to Coonan. Coonan puts it up and scores off the glass in four seconds. And we're all tied. Brett's laugh working. They run the baseline. They get it in the Grove. Dribbling it up the far side. There's the open shot for Mace. The three-pointer of the horn. And it doesn't go. What a play. They used Retzlaff as a decoy. They ran him to the near side. They drew the defense. He slaughter is so enthused about it back at the station. She was just, she came on and said, I am so happy we've got five more minutes of basketball. It's such a great game. <laughs> Tied at 66, 450 to play in the overtime. Hernandez has been on the floor since about five minutes to play with those four personal fouls. And he has had some big block shots underneath. Fergus with a basketball. Mace got caught in the air, but found Retzlaff. Pull up 15 footer. Good again. Ryan Retzlaff has been a killer. Two more. In the overtime for him, he's got 28. Now in the front court, Warriors with a basketball. Now a chance to breathe again for a basketball team. Try and find the offensive flow. Oh, the lob back door went off the glass. Miss Goddess on the recovery got it blocked by Hernandez. And Fergus Falls will come back the other way. Tough possession that time for the Warriors. They tried for the kind of the spectacular backdoor lob, and it hit above the square on the glass. They did recover, but then a tough shot. Rats laugh again in the key for two more. And they're on him. They are covering him, folks. It may sound like they're not, but they are. Coon in the other way. The three doesn't go. Bergson tries to retrieve, but can't. And Fergus Bowles has the basketball back, and at four points, that's as big as their lead has been throughout. Ryan Retzlaff putting on a show. Find him on the floor and give him the basketball if you're Fergus Bowles. 70 to 66, 335 to go. Down to Hernandez. He puts it to the floor to spin in the paint. It doesn't go. The offensive tap by Rowe won't fall. Here at the Community College State Tournament. Row at the line, free throw, back of the team, no good. Team with their defense. Because offensively they have struggled against a gnarly man-to-man -man by Fergus Falls. Second one is good by Rowe. Up the floor come the Warriors. Young in the dribble. It's a five-point Fergus Falls lead. 71-66. 3.24 to play. Now a whistle and a foul call. 21-66. Fergus Falls the lead. 3.23 to play in the overtime. Free throw, good. In the one and bonus, neither team in that two foul shot situation yet. Eight fouls on Fergus, seven on one. Second one by Hanson, good again. Warriors need to find someone with a hot hand here. Someone who wants to take that big shot. It was Mike Coonan again. He hit the big shot in overtime against Normandale. Backdoor cut, Let's laugh. catches it again. Coonan goes up on the reverse. Surprise that is. <laughs> He has been the man down the stretch. Free throw on the way. And he, he is capable. Falls the lead. That's one possession. Need to have a miss here for Let's Laugh to keep it at one possession. Short. Rebound. Hernandez got a tip. Oh, and then Hanson on the floor with a couple of tricky dribbles. As Let's Laugh missed them both. Lindemann in for Dirks and also Purcell, Hanson, Young, and Kunin for the Warriors. Brett's laugh checking, Hanson, Hanson on the dribble, goes to the far side, now Purcell. Had a chance to spot up, didn't take it. Down to Hanson, Hanson turns in the paint, puts it up, had a shot, it wouldn't go. Rebound comes to Grove for Fergus Falls. And this is a young, freshman-dominated Warrior team. Learning the tough way here. Hanson working hard against Hernandez down underneath. Now Grove out top doing some ball handling tricks. Circling the waist with it and gives it up. Hernandez a touch to Grove near side around the circle. 2.20 to play, 10 on the shot clock. Hernandez now Mace. Mace far side, through the line extended to the floor, pull up, 17 footer, doesn't go. Coon in the rebound. Mike Coon in another big board for the Warriors. Looks down the floor, blue baseball pass. Blue Lindemann's hand. The lob in the row as the Warriors come out with a little full court pressure. They try and deny the ball, but Grove has it now and across the timeline. They'll be in no hurry offensively here. Okay. On the dribble, gives to Mace, right side, out to Rowe. Rowe to Grove on the near side. They look to Retzlaff on the low block. They try to strip him of the basketball. Hanson first, and he does at the line. A little bit of a quirky shot. Free throw on the way, it falls. 
but still plenty of time. 72-68, Fergus. Second one goes again. Young on the dribble. They trail 73-68. 140 to play in the overtime. Young comes near side to Lindemann. Lindemann holding out top to Shell. Now to Young. Left side. Young to the floor. Going baseline. And we're going to see minutes of basketball since halftime. Young at the line. Puts it up and hits. Jimmy Young. Size advantage on the Warriors. Especially now with Jeremy Dirksen on the bench with five fouls. Young second one. Good again. There's the key. Get to the line and hit free throws. 73-70. A minute and a half. Full court pressure by the Warriors. Fergus Falls had their breakers set up. Roll with it now between the circles. I'm going to run some clock here. 20 on the shot clock. Let's laugh far side right along the sideline. Free throw line extended. Now to Mace. 110 on the game clock. 73-70. A Fergus Falls lead. Mace now. Into the red slot, red slot, goes baseline, pull up, 15 footer, it goes! That might be the big shot of the game right there. Red slot went baseline, just rolls and hit. He can pull up very quickly off the dribble. Young now right side, tosses it up. That doesn't go. Hanson the offensive rebound and the putback. Well, that's the first time the lane has been open in a long time. Into Grove in the backcourt, and Miscata so foul in. That's why you want those quick point guards. Penetration So the Warriors will have any missed shot here. If it was a three-point game, he wouldn't do that. It was a four-point game, and now five, he does that. And the second one was good. That time by Grove. He hit them both. 77-72. Warriors in the front court. Lindemann on the dribble. Back to Mesgadis. Mesgadis on the bounce. 38 seconds on the game. Clutch to Coonan. Baseline. Robinson stripped it. The foul ball. 7.72, Fergus falls, 35 seconds to go in the overtime. Coonan's free throw, no good. Young Wilmer team, just two sophomores on the squad, the rest freshmen. Coonan hits the second one. Amundsen in the backcourt, oh, no stolen. It was deflected. Amundsen said, well, that's my ball. Now into Mace, the roll on the near side. Shot clock and the game clock almost identical. Coonan leaps to the pass. Throw it in right from the own bench in the throw. Grove on the dribble. Throws it out to Mays. The Warriors need to get a foul here, but Fergus moving the ball. They need to the foul. Now they do. With 14 of the clock moving. At the line, Amundsen, free throw. Good. At about 45 seconds or so on the clock, he can hit that thing off the dribble so well. Robinson hits him both. And that made it a two-possession lead at a big point in the game. Young up the floor, pulls up, three-pointer. That doesn't go. Kuhn in a tap. That does fall. And the Warriors will get a timeout. But they are still down. Grove to throw it in. Had a man open. Now throws it in the corner to Rowe. Rowe holds. Loaded with in-state players. Not the case with some of the other teams in the tournament. These two teams recruit. Wilmer exclusive. Free throw good by Rowe. One more opportunity. On the way and good again. 81-75 Fergus. They're going to hold on and advance into the semifinals. Jump shot by Young at the horn. It doesn't go. And that's the end of the basketball game. Our score. In overtime. Fergus falls. 3-1. 75 back with the post game show in one minute.